Amazing. Hello. We are live. Why? How do I make this a bigger window? There we go. So we can see it. Yeah. Well, now I can't see the comments. Oh, my. These gosh darn new live windows. I don't know. Okay, I think it's going to come up there. Sorry, people. It's been a while since I did a live, like, in person, and you, like, forget how to do it. Like, it's a little bonkers. And sorry, we're going uh, back and forth because uh, <laughs> it was hard to get both of us in the window. So we've got Facebook here, Instagram here. As you can see, I'm not at the Hive right now. I, well, I kind of am. I'm at a different Hive. I'm at the Truro Farmer's Market Hive. And it is an actual Hive of activity. You can see behind us all of these borders and people are getting them ready and getting them out to people. Okay, so today we are talking about operations at the Farmer's Market. But just before I get into that, I want to do a quick shout out to our Truro Buzz sponsors. Uh, Community Credit Union is a great sponsor of ours, as well as the Truro and Colchester Partnership for Economic Prosperity, and Fran Grant at Remax. So without the generous support of those people, Truro Buzz would not exist. If you're interested in doing some advertising with Truro Buzz or talking about sponsorship uh, opportunities for you, give us a shout. You can message us on Facebook or Instagram or on our email at info at TruroBuzz.com. Now it's a Wednesday. I don't think I've ever been here during the middle of the week except for like an event we have at night. What is it so busy here on a Wednesday? Well, it's because we've switched our pickup of the online ordering system to Wednesday. And we did that because we've opened the building again for in-person shopping on Saturday so we can have um, more vendors and vendors whose products really needed to be inside out of the sun and the heat and the everything. Absolutely. So we've been running the online system and even before we had our super sexy online software, we, we were just taking orders by email and phone call. Um, so since the COVID shutdown, we actually haven't missed a Saturday of operating the market. I in, couldn't remember if yeah. you guys had shut down for a couple of weeks or like you didn't at all. We, we had one week where we just took, um, we had about eight vendors and customers contacted them directly, and then we immediately switched over to taking the orders and, and, and sort of amalgamating everything and, and doing it that way. And then we got the software online because we, you know, smart people would have put the software online first, but well, it doesn't want to miss an opportunity for the vendors. It so. doesn't always develop that way. So. Yeah. That's incredible. So how hard was it to go from having your in-person Saturday market to being able to let people still get the local products from the farmer's market online? How did that happen? It was really interesting. We had super fantastic support by our customers, and that's what made it possible, but also from our vendors. Um, when we couldn't hold the live in-person market, we started with, you know, a dozen and then 20, and now we have 55 of our vendors um, active in the online store, and some of them have had to stop since we switched to the Wednesday. But they were great about giving us lists of what was available, and now they can do it themselves, logging in into the software. Oh, so and, convenient. Oh, so much better. <laughs> we worked some long hours when we were doing it by um, email and stuff, but it's um, it's been really, really great at this point. And, and the customers just caught on to it so quickly, and they called in their orders, or they emailed in their orders, and now they go online and shop, and it's just amazing. It's a totally different platform and way of doing the farmer's market, but it really worked well. And especially when they couldn't go elsewhere to shop and we couldn't be here in person. You know, we were doing, we used to have to cut the orders off at 300 in the week because we just couldn't handle anymore. We couldn't, literally couldn't do the paperwork. And then when we got the um, software, then we could take more orders and, and do that. But I'm really curious, so is three, like, do you have any numbers on what you were getting people come through the door on a regular Saturday? Like, is that comparative, or was it 300 more than you get, or less than you get? Oh, um, we keep, um, we, we've kept for years um, little, so we use a little counter every half hour around the market, so we have some idea. So um, this time, 
well, especially with March, April, when we started the online, um, the numbers, 300 to 380 orders online, we would get in that same period in an in-person market, we would have had about 15, 12 to 1,500 people come through. Interestingly, though, um, the average customer order when they shop in person is quite small across the province. Like, there's a lot of farmers markets across the province. We have the highest number um, per capita of any province in Canada. Don't know the Scotia. Oh, man. But the average order size can be quite small. On the online, all of the markets who switched to the online were finding that the average order was right. more because right. people were ordering as much yep. as they could. They could come here and pick it up without any contact. We deliver it to their vehicles or they come in and get it through a very you know, distanced procedure. So, so even though we had fewer orders, um, we were doing the same in sales and the market. Was, that was the reason the market could keep going was the great customer support for that. So. Okay, that's, that's fantastic. And that's a good point because like when I come to the farmer's market on a Saturday, I'll grab a coffee, I'll grab my treat, I might grab something for lunch and then maybe a thing or two, but I don't do a large order. I'm right. just kind of popping in and popping out. But if I were going to order online, I would be more inclined to do like a grocery size order and pick it up. So it seems that you're going to keep doing this online system then along with the market being open. That's fantastic for people to have that option. Yes, we actually had explored uh, doing the Wednesday online even before the shutdown in March. So we had planned to do this. Um, and it, we did it more quickly. And, and we did it on the Saturday because that's the traditional market day. But now that we're open again for the in-person market, we switched it to Wednesdays. We hope to never stop doing the online ordering. It's so convenient for some people and people that maybe go to their cottage and so they're not here on Saturday or they work in town through the week and they don't want to make a trip back in on Saturday. That's a good point. So so they can order. The ordering for online starts like on Friday morning and ends on Monday evening. Tuesday is the day when the vendors bring in all their product and then fresh things come on Wednesday morning, fresh picked, fresh baked, all that. And then and then we send the orders out between two and six on Wednesday afternoon. So you can come after work or you can grab a big order and plan to be away for the weekend. And yeah, so. well, that is because a lot of people do live just outside the city and all of our smaller communities. So if someone is interested in placing an order from Farmer's Market, how do they do that? Oh, um, you go to our website, which is truefarmersmarket.org, and there are a couple of big spots that say uh, order online. And when you click on that, it takes you right to our storefront, and you can register as a customer, and then you just click on the products, the product list, and you shop. It's very much a click and add to a cart the way so many online orders. So you fill a cart. Um, you just choose whatever you want. You can scroll through everything, or you can choose your favorite producers and just pick from those ones. Especially if you're in a hurry, then you go, oh, I want to order from these. These are my favorite. This is my favorite thing. Know exactly where I'm going. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, ordering closes right now on Monday evening at seven, and. The pick sheets of all the items that are ordered go to electronically. The software sends it right to all of our producers, and they gather up everything and bring it in to us. And um, Tuesday is the day when, if you buy things like meat, chicken, some vegetables that have to be weighed, our producers will do that on Tuesday, and then you'll get an updated invoice on Tuesday evening which tells you exactly how much you owe us. And we take um, cash and check and e-transfer and credit cards. Perfect. So we try to make it um, really as available to everyone as I can, because not everyone wants to pay and buy one. Or, you That's know, right, yeah. A lot of markets are just doing credit cards, and I understand that. It's really easy because you both process them, and it's yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, um, but we have lots of people that want to pay by cash or e-transfer. 
workloads too. So whatever works for their customers, work where they No can. kidding, that's a, that's fantastic. Yeah. So do they pick the time they come up to deliver, or it's just in that window when you just show up? Just in that window, oh, nice. you show up. We have numbers on the columns um, under the canopy, so they just call us and tell us what number of parking space they're in. Or um, they come through the door and we just take two people at a time inside the building to purchase. They might be able to see behind this. Mm, I'll do a little pan here yeah, in a second. And so we just pick the orders. We put out all the orders in alphabetical um, throughout the whole building. We need both days. And then we um, just just fill whatever we can. We get Sarah there packing yeah, some yeah, orders. She's, she's a great little worker elf. <laughs> yes, we've been so lucky. We have fantastic support. But we've had 20 really core um, volunteers that have helped us out, and they're just, they've just they been amazing. Couldn't I have done it care. without them. All of these orders and volunteers hard at work, and it goes all the way over there, and then people are coming in through the bays on that side to pick up their orders. So the market is now, if they are coming in person on Saturday, it is inside and outside. It is, yes. Last week, um, was our first inside market since March. Um, our last one was March the 14th. <laughs> it's crazy how, I can't believe we're at the very last few days of July. I know, yeah. So we have a lot of spacing, so we have fewer vendors inside, um, but we've, we've uh, widened our aisles. We don't have any seating, so when you do grab that coffee and treat, we can't do the seating. Um, but there's Space is awesome. That's right, yeah, right there on Civic Square has yeah. some tables and benches and the concrete ring that you can sit around That's with right. your and the weather has been perfect for it, especially that time in the day yes. before it's like before it's ungodly hot. hot. Yes. So we do have some prepared food vendors and we do have coffee and lattes and things and so uh, they are all takeaway so people have to take them out of the market um, to eat them or take them home. But it's funny the little things that you miss exactly. that you so took for granted. Like, I for a while I was coming to the market every Saturday morning and I would sit here yeah. and have my breakfast or my treat, and then I fell out of it when I got really busy and couldn't make it in. And now it's like, oh, what I wouldn't give to come in and hear the music playing and there's yes. people watching yes. and then there's the hustle and bustle. We miss energy. all our regulars I and they, it is a different energy yeah. when they can all come and you can visit Absolutely. with them. So. But the social bit is back a little bit because we can at least see people, but um, both under the canopy and inside, we have X's and directional arrows, and we ask everyone, unfortunately, to shop you know, quickly and efficiently so that more people can get in because they're in. the numbers are limited by however many X's are on the ground and the floor. Oh, so, well, that's a good way to keep track. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that's as many as we can. So we can fit about 65 customers inside the building and another 40 inside under the canopy that's at fantastic. any one time. But people move through, so, right. you know. Well, I think everybody bad. respects that there's lots of people that want to come here, and the farmer's market is so important to every community around Nova Scotia and Canada. One of my favorite things to do when I travel is to go find the local yeah. farmers oh, me too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you, I can imagine, <laughs> having a, what are they doing here? Exactly. That weird, I'm all about it. <laughs> Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I love it. So if you're just tuning in, we're here with Margaret at the Truro Farmer's Market. And if you can see behind us, it is a hotbed of activity on a Wednesday because this is the new online order pickup day. So during COVID, they had pivoted to do online ordering where they couldn't have the market in person. And now they're going to continue to do that process. So you can submit your order at uh, www.truroFarmersMarket.org. And then the pickup is on Wednesday from two to six. That's right. But you can still come to the in-person market. Was you say last week was the first one? First one inside. We've been doing outside under the canopy right. for seven weeks. Now. Right. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say those are mid June we started outside mm -hmm. under, under the canopy with in person. So, but because of the spacing and and the number of people who want to be here, um, there's actually I think I have 55. 50 to 55 vendors in the online, and about 30, it goes up and down a little, 30 to 35 that will be inside the market, or inside and outside on a Saturday. So you do get more selection online right now until we get more people back. 
That's good person. to know. Yeah, so you can do both. You can do an you online do order for some, and then yeah. you can still come in person to get the other yeah. vendors. Some are only online, some are only here in person, and some are both. Yeah. That's really the best of both worlds, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. If you're not in town on the weekend, or you work out in, out of town, or you're going away to the cottage for the weekend, you can place your order, pick it up on Wednesday, and not even worry about it. This is so fun because I've been doing these online for so long with like streaming and there's like so much activity happening here. Like I just love it. It, it just makes me long for the good old days yeah. that hopefully are on their way back again sometime soon. So sometimes you can hear the phone ring in the background, no doubt. And sometimes uh, it rings pretty nonstop and that's people calling and we take their orders out to their vehicles for them. So. Oh, that's Turo uh, Craig's window. Oh. says they are the best and hello margaret oh he's fantastic he keeps our windows sparkling and he oh. did all those little tiny ones you can see in the background just the other week for us no so, kidding and yeah. i know we've got a dark window here because the light is so great coming through which yeah. is it's fantastic yeah we should have probably gotten the weight away here i know right <laughs> dirty windows <laughs> no those clean windows are half the charm well margaret thank you so much for having us in to tell us all about what's happening with the Har yeah, Toronto farmers market thank you. it's so nice to look i mean i just work over there so every saturday morning i look over and see the white tents and people it's like yes it's like normalcy it it feels like it, it it's so great to be able to see people face to face again and or mask to mask well you know close yeah. enough eyes I, to eyes yes <laughs> Your eyes have to be very expressive. Now, I know, but. right? I'm always very conscious of my eye makeup now because it's like that's all you're gonna oh, see. Oh, true. <laughs> and I had to stop. I would forget and put lipstick on, and then now my mask has like all of these shades my on the inside. My mask has lipstick on. Yeah, yeah, it's part of it. Well, this has been fantastic. So if you want to place your order, you can do it online. The link is in our uh, Facebook, or if you're on Instagram, it's TuroFarmersMarket.org, or we'll see you down here on Saturday. Yes. Thank you for having us. Thanks, Alicia. <laughs> and one at a time. Video. And